Right, who are you? Hello, I'm Brendan Isbitt. And you are? I am Gordon Isbitt, Brenda's husband. Right, and you were going to go off into the forces and then you met her, is that That's right? That's correct. <laughs> okay, so which was the best sentence, do you think? You were going to do 27 years in the forces? 21 actually, 21? Do, but I've done 51 with Brenda. Okay. Um, which I think I've come out on top. Good. <laughs> and uh, uh, for a lot of that time, you've been looking after kids, fostering kids? Yes, we fostered 97 from very young to 18. Really? Blimey. 97? 97. 97 children through our doors. And you've been doing it, what, for... Uh, Just over 30 years. 30 years. And you're coming up for retirement? Definitely. Oh, what a shame. Because, I mean, you couldn't... I mean, just looking at you, you see that you're absolutely wonderful as a as a, as a, a surrogate mother. Not quite a surrogate oh, mother, really? a, a standard mother. <laughs> but um, you've enjoyed it. I, I take it if you've been done it all that time. Very ups and very downs, and very frustrating sometimes. But, yeah. So um, yeah, I, I feel that we've turned at least ninety percent of them around for a better life. Good, because most of them come from pretty shit backgrounds, presumably. Very, very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you had a get-together to, to, to see these people in, uh, and follow them up at all? Um, we did on our 50th wedding anniversary. We saw quite a few of the children, and some are still keep in touch with, even the ones that have been adopted. Oh, really? They still keep in touch with. So oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice if their adoptive parents allow you to see them, because they sometimes don't want a reminder of... What went before? Life, you know, before, yeah. Yes, yes, but you're a sort of, sort of uh, standing granny for them, I suppose, aren't Definitely. you? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Extra nanny. Yes. And you're, what's your role in all this? You're the, you're the father figure, presumably. I go along with what my wife does. So oh, I very diplomatic. Yeah. I back her up. I'm very diplomatic. Yes. I back my wife up with yeah. uh, what she wants to do. Yeah. Because um, you're no spring chicken, are you? You're, no, you're, I'm... 75, I oh, yeah. 75 in April. But you looked jolly fit. What was what was that your job that kept you fit? Building. I was in the building for quite a number of years. Okay, so you, you lots so of uh, fresh air and exercise. Fresh air. Good. Okay. So uh, do you, uh, is your forte looking after the, the boys and sort of getting them to their football matches and things like that? We used to travel most all over Essex at one yeah. time with the young lad that we've got at the moment. Yeah. Playing, he played for Essex Royals yeah. for quite a number of years and uh, Wickford Town yeah. uh, and unfortunately he stopped playing football at the moment but he goes to college now and uh, he's now going to join the football academy he's told us oh that's a good idea yes. at, the, at the college so we're not sure where that's going to lead yeah. at the present time or the an enormous dollop of luck, it will, it will lead to him becoming a Premier League star and, and what, putting you in a, a He's house with a lot of mo motivation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say a, an enormous dollop of luck, yeah. but, uh, but there you go. Yeah, anyway, yes. well, at least it's, you know, you're sort of, you, you're, you're leading him in the right direction, which has got to be good, hasn't it? We hope so. Good. We hope so. Okay, so what are the future? What are you you're going to get bored with with no, all the time on your hands? We've got a puppy dog that we've just acquired. Oh, um, really? Yes, a black Labrador. Yeah. She's quite a culture shock. She's a bit of a thief for food. Oh, and they do. She gets dinners and yes. she's at them. But, um, yeah, we're having more exercise, aren't we, taking her out? Yes. Hopefully yes. she's given us quite a bit of enjoyment. She's only 10 months at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, hopefully oh, really? we'll be able to. We're doing the puppy training, aren't we? Yes. yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. Because uh, labs are, are lovely. They will nick food off the table. and, and uh, oh, we've, we've got one who jumps up on the table. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Does she chew things? Not too bad at the moment, no. Really? Oh, no. you're lucky. Yeah. No, we had one, one that chewed the, the furniture leg and uh, even the skirting boards and one even chewed into the plaster wall so you're, you're, yeah. you're fortunate there I had a very quiet when we doctors used to be on call I had a very quiet weekend once 
because um, I couldn't work. The telephone didn't ring at all. Uh, I eventually looked at it, and you can yes, guess you can yes, guess what yes, happened. Yes, he, he chewed through <laughs> the yeah. wire. This was uh, this was the old days where we, before we we were using mobile phones. That was the only way of contacting us. So I had a lovely quiet, quiet <laughs> weekend. On yeah, board. we've had that experience. That's yeah. about the worst thing. And plant pots. She yes. has plant pots. Empty them. You fill them up with nice flowers, and she empties them. All oh, right. So uh, as far as um, your your career. Uh, in, in in terms of looking after children who desperately need to be look, looked after is concerned. I, I assume you're not hanging up your boots completely. Yeah, you're going to just sort of keep keep your hand in on a um, perhaps looking after people at the odd Yeah, I'd like to or... give something back. So we've done a bit of teaching, haven't we, for other foster carers, and I've budded new foster carers. Yeah. Um, also, I'm going to do a little bit of respite for other carers because we're not really allowed respite. But if you've got a family wedding or a funeral or something like yes. that and it's you're unable to take the child or if you're booked a holiday and then you have a placement and this yeah. child hasn't got a passport, yeah. you know, things like that. So I'm just going to be a little bit of a stand-in and also, help other people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, you've yeah, got your grandson here looking yeah, after. Also, we're going to keep looking after our grandson. Yeah, well, a very important person. He's seven years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, well, you sounds like you're going to keep busy, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. keep busy. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, I, I congratulate you on uh, doing such a, a wonderful job for so long and have a long and happy and healthy retirement. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.